So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to this updated step guide on how to complete the fire bow upgrade step. I released a video tutorial showing you how to successfully get your bow upgraded to the fire one, but in my game, for some odd reason, we actually skipped a step. I'm not sure why this happened. Normally you shouldn't be allowed to do this and there was actually a step missing, which somehow we managed to avoid doing. Now in my guide, I got to the part where I showed you the fireplaces and there's actually a new step required in order to get this to work. I've had loads of people commenting and tweeting to me saying that they couldn't get this to work and this is 100% how you get this step to work. So you want to fill up all three of these ritual circles like normal by standing inside them and getting zombie kills and when you've done all of that and you aren't getting souls in any of those three circles we can begin with this new step which apparently I managed to somehow avoid doing in my previous game. So what you want to do is go around the map and look for a circle which is still lit up. Now killing zombies in this circle will not actually get you any more zombie souls but will actually cause the zombies to drop this weird lava rock piece. Now as normal with the fireplace step in my guide you want to go to the clock tower and spin the cogs until you get an apothecan symbol. Now you want to find the fireplaces which I mentioned in my previous guide all those locations are in there and the symbol in the clock tower will match a symbol on one of the fireplaces. Now there's should be a ritual circle near to the fireplace which you need so in this game mine was actually inside of Edward's room so that meant that the circle that was still lit up is the one outside double tap now this is the part which is very very tricky now you want to try and kill a zombie as close to the fireplace as possible while standing in this red circle so for me my fireplace was the one in Eddie's room like I mentioned and this circle is all the way back in double tap so I actually got one of my friends to train around the zombies in front of this tank near one of the dragon head locations and shooting one of those zombies dropped the lava rock part now you have three chances to actually move this rock and get it in the fireplace which you need so for me like I mentioned it was in Edward's fireplace so I managed to get the lava rock to drop there now to get this lava rock to move you actually need to stand in inside it and then shoot an arrow in the location of where you want this to be moved to. You can only move this a total of three times with the third shot being the one going into the fireplace. Now this isn't easy at all so if you mess up you will have to start another round and kill some zombies until they drop this lava rock piece thing again but you want to make sure that this is dropped as close to the fireplace as possible as it makes things a lot easier. So for me it dropped down there. What I needed to do was actually get it onto the bridge so I actually managed to get this stuck within the door frame leading into the living quarters now from this angle I couldn't see the fireplace so I needed to shoot into the room and then finally the last shot I had I stepped inside and I shot it directly in the fireplace and as you can see the step successfully worked I lit up the fireplace I then held square and then I will get a energy which will then be attached to my bow you then follow my guide as necessary go up to the massive ball in the middle in the bastion which now should be on ground level you want to hold square for a few seconds and that should now explode dropping your reforged arrow now like I mentioned I have no idea why this step was avoided in my game but I've seen tons of other people trying to upgrade this and they're getting stuck on this step because they don't know what to do and unfortunately because I didn't get this in my game my bow guide originally wasn't detailed enough but hopefully with this added on you should definitely be able to get this using this video as well as the first original fire bow guide. Let me know if this helped by leaving a comment and also smashing that like button as I'd really really appreciate it and Make sure to subscribe as I'll be having main easter egg steps on my channel very very soon if not a full guide on there already. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on another one soon.